The order February 28th, 7 p.m. at the town hall. Certification of compliance with open meetings law. It was posted on the website and the town hall board. Roll call. Potter? Here. Martin? Here. Kanyaski? Here. 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 Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All business is nothing. <coughs> New business. Uh, number one, discussion and possible action on the cost of repairs to the dry hydrant on Highway 59 by the Hay Farm. Uh, the pipe is bad going down into the pond out there. I've communicated with you know, Chief Hurley, and uh, he sent me an email today. made several calls, and uh, we'll pull it up on the repair of it. As I spoke with a few other chiefs in the county this week who recently did dry hydrant projects. It seems they all used gallets grading for both repairs and new projects. I did not get any cost estimates, but the overall consensus is that they, they're great to work with and reasonably priced. So, reference that, do you think I should get a hold and have them give an estimate on what what it cost. It's mainly the pipe going down. It's sucking air someplace. What do you think, Joan? At least find out what we need some. We do need close to figure out what it's going to cost and what it's going to entail, but we probably, need one. We probably want more than one, don't we? Yeah, I don't know. Well, you heard what I just read there. I didn't get a whole gallon. So do you have any idea? Any yeah, I mean, we, we could. I can give you a, a list of people to get a hold of for an estimate. I'm thinking it's probably not a big deal. It's just a piece of, uh, I don't know, it must be a metal pipe, I would guess, would you? It's hard to tell what's, yeah. what's okay. there. But. Well, I'll get a hold of Gallus. If you come up with some other place for me to call, you an estimate yeah. through that. Can big, you send big. me that email that you got? That you're in? Yeah. I mean, if it's something that's inexpensive and it's only a hundred, two hundred bucks, and it's gonna for a I should probably get one on coal. I would have guessed if it's a piece of the pipe isn't going to cost much. It's for him to come on. <coughs> it's going to be a thousand dollar bill. I would say. Would you? Uh, I, God? I would not be surprised with three thousand. Doesn't that depend on? Let's make it worse and worse. <laughs> doesn't that depend on where the pipe might have a hole? I mean, they could. Have. That's true, but the whole piece would have to be uh, uh, replaced. I mean, it can't be more than six oh, six no. feet. Yeah, the whole no. Okay. Okay. We done on that. Uh, number two, discussion of possible action on recommendation of the highway committee on future road projects and grant app applications. So we met last night. Um, we covered a number of different topics. Here's my notes. Here's my notes. <coughs> I don't have minutes quite prepared since six o'clock last night, but uh, we did talk about a handful of things grant related. Um, specifically, I guess we were discussing the L Rip entitlement funding as a piece of our agenda that we had allocated or applied for on. Tamarack Road. Um, we also talked about the A-RIP funding. Um, talked about potentially moving the L-RIP project from Tamarack to New Spring Lake Drive if the county indeed is going to pay the H south of the village to Young Road. Um, I've talked with the county and anticipate hopefully within the next two, maybe three weeks to have a meeting between 
myself, um, reps from the county, and potentially Scott from the village to try to figure out the ins and outs of Blue Spring Lake Drive, if they want to fund any of it, if they don't. Um, if they do, there's a possibility that we could amend our LRIP grant application to Blue Spring Lake Drive rather than Tamarack and at least fund what we got in front of us for the near term. Um, I, had, I had conversations with uh, the village board member Tom Ball about it, and he feels there would be a minimal if they could find the money. Yeah. And there were the, he told me that they had a road project that they have gotten funding for, if I'm understanding correctly, that may not happen, so they may be able to redirect some money to this too, but I'm sure Scott will know all about that. But yeah. In talking to Tom, he seemed to be uh, amenable to discussions for them going in with us on that road. And, yeah. Ga and Kathy Weiss called me today, and that was brought up, and she said to work, have you worked with Scott? Yeah. <clears throat> um, as far as, the way our agenda was last night, we had um, the, not related to grants, but road projects. Um, we had a refer referral for tree work. We had a uh, referral for inventory of the culverts. Um, that spe piece specifically, there was a recommendation that's, I'm going to say, coming back to the board, whether that's tonight or formally at some other point in time. Um, been working with the county, have a smaller itemized list, and then we're going to go through, if the board's cool with it, we would go through as a highway committee that short list and make it a precise list and then have those inspected by the county. So we're not going through the potential 37 miles of road for them trying to inventory look whatever. Um, so who we create these lists? Um, we've got a preliminary right now going. If you want to call it a red dot map, all these red dots are potentials, locations. Uh, myself and Greg Twelmeyer will go through. Um, look, measure, whatever it is, give the details of those culverts to the county, and then the county would come down and inspect them. After that, if we know if they're six foot or not six foot. Um, this has been done through GIS mapping. We're looking at contours that cross roadways, something that looks significant enough to warrant the potential of culverts. So there's two on Marsh Road? Potentially. One of them is a box culvert? I noticed it driving over the other night or the other day. Yeah. So we're just looking to make sure you have, yeah. it looks like you do have that one on there. Yep. Okay. Um, so the recommendation from last night coming, coming back to the board is to have the highway committee go through this short list, narrow it down, get the details to the county, and then have them come out and actually do the inspection. Um, so basically the, the inventory, inventory of the culverts you want us to handle ourselves in the inspection and whatever that leads to pay somebody to do that. Correct. Work with the county for it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, <clears throat> if we want to break these up, if we want to go back through them, I don't, I don't know how you want to handle these here tonight. But. I think let's take that subject right now. If, okay. if I believe what he's saying is if, if we agree, let uh, highway committee do the short list and let the county uh, inspect. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Um, and I'm okay with that. Um, question. <clears throat> um, so you, you, the highway committee will drive all 37 miles of the roads and look? Eventually. Okay. The, um, without getting too far off track for our agenda last night, we did set a preliminary early April to do a road tour, um, spring road tour, what's condition, yada yada. We would use that tour to actually do the remaining 12, 18, 24 inch culverts that are just one offs along the road. What we want to get done first is the short list of the big culverts. The ones that we have to have done by the 15th of April. To make a decision on how we're going to do it, yes. Right. We would, if that's made tonight, we could forward that to WISDOT and say, here's what we're doing, is we're going to do it ourselves, we're going to work with the county for the inspection. Okay. Secondarily to that, when we do our spring road tour, we would get all of everything and else that's out there. That was my next question, because if we're going to go through the effort, whether the, the, the must-have are the six uh, 20-footers, yeah. and that's what you're saying is the, is the first one. Yeah. And I was, after driving around a little bit myself, I was a little, um, I was thinking, I mean, I was thinking that if we're going to do it, 
let's log everything so we have a database. Yep. So if anything comes up in the future, we don't have to do it again. Yes. Let's just do it in the corner. So yep. Yep. now that you've said it that way, I'm perfectly <coughs> fine with that. We need a motion. So I would make a motion to have the Highway Committee um, go through the potential qualifying structures to inventory them and work with the county for the inspections thereafter. Motion's been made to uh, do the uh, minimal uh, culvert count and turn it over to the county to do the inspection. Is there a second? I second that. Any further discussion? Um, do we want to include in the motion that eventually, or as part of this, in stages that we will complete an inventory of all culverts? What do you think your state, well, how you phrase the motion covers everyone? I can redefine that in an upcoming item for number two. Okay. Right. <laughs> an upcoming somewhat here. Okay. <laughs> so, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. <clears throat> What's next? In the <clears throat> um, 3A of last night's meeting, Highway Committee met to discuss reshouldering of Little Prairie Road. Um, the committee made a recommendation to uh, obtain a quote from Jefferson County Highway Department to coordinate with their spring shouldering, if there is any, or if they're in the area for any other highway product, uh, projects. Uh, that was recommended at the Highway Committee, and I shall so move. I'm sorry, say it one more time. Get, sorry. To get quotes from the Highway Committee, or the Highway Department. Come. Correct. To reshoulder Little Prairie Road. Um, I second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 3B, we covered Blue Spring Lake Drive paving project and potential coordination with County and the Village. I touched on this a few minutes ago. Uh, we discussed the possibility, again, of transferring that Elroy project from Tamarack Road to Blue Spring Lake Drive, number one, based off of village participation, and number two, uh, if the county for sure is going to do Highway H, because that's not a for sure has been let at this point. So um, the Highway Committee made a recommendation to coordinate with the county and if need be, uh, make a formal request to the village board to participate in the project. That was recommended at the Highway Committee, and I shall so move. Second. Any further discussion? Um, I'm not, I have a, something to bring up to the Road Committee, to you on roads concerning the, um, uh, if the county does do H, LTL Road, um, would I bring that up now, or because this is on Blue Spring Lake Drive, or should I bring that up separately? Potentially separately. Okay, um, um, okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> Sorry, people, I'm trying to shorten it up a little bit. I'm just not 100% of the time. Uh, I'm I, not. <coughs> item 3C from the Highway Committee meeting last night. We discussed Tamarack Road and Elbert funding and the pet potential of coordinating with the county. As an alternative, should the village not be a participating uh, entity for Blue Spring Lake Drive. We discussed trying to move the Tamarack Road project out of 25 into 2024, seeing as they're going to be in town, uh, potentially amending that LRIP grant application. It was recommended by the committee to use that as a secondary alternative, and I shall so move. Okay, I've got a question. Uh... First of all, we sold as far as funding this stuff. Mm -hmm. The Bobcat went for about $63,000. Hold, uh -huh. hold, hold on. This is new news. The Bobcat sold? Yeah, that's because we're watching that, it. That's because we're watching it sold. Is this on the agenda? But it has to, the monies. I'm talking the monies. Okay? So you've got a grant you're thinking about using for that we've got, right? 31,000, but we've got to match that, so that's 60,000. That should probably pretty much cover, maybe a little short, of our half if they, we decide to do Blue Spring Lake Road. 
Do you agree with that too, Nicole? If, if we, <clears throat> so we measured it out last night, uh, third of a mile, I think, is what it is. Half of it's theirs, half of it's ours. Uh, if we pulverize and pave that section, previous fall estimates was $240,000 a mile. So cut that in rough thirds. It's going to be pretty close. And if we wanted to, as part of the scope, after I meet with Brian and talk with Scott, all that whole thing, if we wanted to do what I'm going to call the western and southern part of the triangle that's wholly the towns we would be able to use the rest if by chance that came in less than uh, use it up. Yeah. correct we would be able to use it on one additional or two additional small segments because those are only 100 yards long each kind of thing so. okay so basically i'll say we got that covered but you take the sixty thousand from the bobcat could be used on the pulverizing paving from the village just past Blaine Paulson's, right? Where the two segments meet up there? That's what you're talking about. That would be the, that's the segment that we applied for and got funding. Yes, 4,300 linear feet. That's all ours, both sides of the road. So again, we're looking at, I mean, that's going to, depending on how we do it, we looked at it from a cost perspective of privately constructed versus using the county, okay? If we switch it from an HMA or switch it from that to an HMA purchase, there's the potential to stretch the material cost out to cover the whole thing, but we would still have to pay for the construction of Tamarack. Um, if that's the case, we would need more funding than. Well, there's the now, that could come into which is on the agenda, talking about possibly have the borrow, is what you're saying. Yeah, we're, we don't have enough funding in a window anywhere to be able to cover what it would take to do Tamarack. But um, as a part of kind of sub 3B, C, D, E, whatever is the game plan goes along here, if the county's going to be mobilized on this area and they're going to be paving, it would be worthwhile for us to get pricing to see what it would be that way versus not. And if, if it's advantageous, we can figure out what the next step to be able to do it would be. And if it's not, then it's not. <clears throat> okay, so restate your motion. Uh, the well, can I, before we do oh. that, let me, let me ask you a question, John. Um, the as part of this, because of reference to road projects, the sale of the Bobcat came up. Mm -hmm. Can I ask questions on that because it's related to the roads, or do I need to wait for our next time? I think that it's close that? enough because if the funds from that can be used for the repair of the roads, then it is relevant to the item. So I can ask questions again. about that sale. That we might be, be going a little bit beyond what the agenda item is. Can I ask the question and you tell me if they can answer it or not? <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, having just heard about this, um, I thought I had seen um, a communication, email, or something that the sale of that was in question because we received a grant or ARPA funds to do it and, was, and that there may be some repayment surrounding that. Can I ask that question? That would be relevant because um, it pertains to the funding of the, the road. Okay. So. Did we get it cleared that there was no conflict with selling it? That we could sell it with without having to pay back any of that grant or funds? I, I don't, where did the grant come from, uh, Laura? Our funds. Or, I know, oh. I said that wrong. Who came up with this information and thought of, suddenly we have to pay something. The auditors. So and when the auditors were the in numbers. reviewing the numbers from last year, um, I was surprised that they asked the question, but they said, uh, were you aware that there is this statute or regulation or whatever that potentially, they, and they didn't know one way or the other, but they said potentially you would have to pay back any funds that you get from sale of equipment that you purchased with <coughs> money from the government. Well, that's in case you have to throw the pressure washer in there. Uh, under $5,000 is, is okay. Anything over, uh, anything 5000 and over is bad. But if we reuse the funds from that, ARPA funds for roads, which is allowed under ARPA, does that take that question off the table? That would be my understanding, yes. So it may be a moot point, but I wanted to bring it up. Was Did anybody even check this out before we say well, this motion? It could be something that you could have 
other yeah. agenda. So as a few. So put that please on the next agenda. But you don't, you're real check. Can you check yeah. on that process? Yeah, especially if the funds can be then just transferred to another ARPA approved project. I just don't want to get us in the jam. So well, ARPA, ARPA funding requires that they're committed, meaning contract, by the end of 2024. Right, so you take, you take the money and commit it to the road project. Correct. Right. However, we would if, if we did take a loss, which we essentially did, between the original sale price, or the original purchase price and the sale price, that we would have to make up. So in other words, we got 63, and we sold, or we bought it for 77. Correct. So in essence, we got to pay again. Is that what I'm hearing? No, we would have to pay for the first time, because the funding wasn't our, didn't come from the town to begin with, it came from everyone um, as part of the COVID recovery fund. So the funding that we got originally was spent that equipment was sold, portions of that equipment was sold for a net loss of what the original purchase was. We're still, the town still has $63,000 more than it did in 2020, period. Well, I shouldn't say that. When we get the checks from the people that bought it, we'll have that money more. We can recommit it, but the question comes down to, I think fundamentally what we need clarification on is if there is a purchase and resale of something that that funding was used for, do we have to at all? And then if we do, I would assume that the original guidelines of the ARPA funding requirements would apply to it. No different. I mean, there's not a, a second set of interim final rules. It's just those are the rules. So we got to abide by the rules or we don't. And if we do, then we have to commit funds by the end of 2024, spend them by 2026. It's worth, and timing was everything here, OK? Um, I don't know if it, it, it's kind of concerning to me that after the I mean the, that after the fact we're learning this and we may be exposed. Hopefully we're not. Um, let me know if I can answer ask this question. The sixty three thousand that we I won't look at him, I'll look at you. Um, the sixty three thousand we got for the bobcat mm -hmm. was that just for the bobcat? Or was that including the sale of the two accessories that two we also accessories. Accessories. So we got 63 for all of it. Yeah, 62, what, 822 or something like that? Yeah, Didn't they have a reserve? I guess on? I could ask. Yeah, we had a reserve and they had a 53 on the Bobcat and went for 55. Oh, okay. Yeah, overall it was 59. 350, I think, 59, 250, something like that. And it went for a total of just under 63. I thought the reserve was higher. I thought it was 55. Okay. Okay, so you'll check on that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. One more time on the motion. So to restate my motion um, regarding 3C from last night's agenda, Tamarack or the of funding, uh, there was a recommendation from the Highway Committee that we look at accelerating the timeline of that for 2024 if Blue Spring Lake Drive becomes not a, a project that the village wants to participate in at this point. Okay, is there a second? I still have some questions. Um, so if the village doesn't participate, we need that triangle fixed. One way or another. At some point, yeah. Um, I'm going to go heavily on the record representing the Lake Management District and 60% of the valuation of this town that we have to have the fixed, fix into that triangle at the top of our priority list. So, um, I just want to make sure we're on the same page with, if the village doesn't participate, and that's a whole other discussion for us, right? Um, um, cooperation and stuff like that. That. Agreed. But um, that's for a later date, depending on what happens. But um, I'm going to take my responsibility being on the Lake Board, Management District Board, um, and, and state that they've been asking for a couple of years now for that triangle to be repaired. And given their percent of the valuation of this town, I think we owe it to them to fix that. And I'll add to that that the village owes it too because everybody drives in town, uses the gas station, goes to the hardware store, does this, does that. All these people are doing that when they come up. So they need to, 
And so let us know yeah. when let us know when the board when a village board meeting is where this is going to come up and I would like for us to all attend that and state our case legally and post an event that will all be attending the meeting and it could be a quorum. Well if Josh is just let's see what Josh works. Right. Kathy's Absolutely. behind it, Tom's behind it, and she has you know, let Josh work with Scott. We don't wanna we don't wanna look like the triple team of the guy. Well so no, but I'm not talking about them working on the sidelines or together. I'm talking about when they have a board meeting to make public comments. I want to know what it is so I can get residents of the lake to come and support it with the village. And and if we if we don't show an interest in that, the village I agree, but you can go there. You know what you mean, public comment. I, well they have two meetings a month. Yeah, I'm asking for when they have it to be. I think it's the first is it the first Monday of the month? First and third. All right. Okay, that's all I'm asking is to be notified when it is that it's coming up. Because I don't always check their, I will, but I don't always check their meeting notices. My, my hope is that between the town and the village and the county, we can meet, talk about it, get some rough, rough shaped out numbers to at least approach and not just throw darts at the wall and say, yeah, absolutely. we, we want to do this, and then it comes back at. No, absolutely no, you'll do that. Three million dollars. Appreciate you're doing that. I'm just, and the two issues the village participating, and the, if they don't, what we still need to do with that triangle. I agree. I agree. So now I'm ready to second the motion. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. What's next? Uh, item 3D, we discussed the Agricultural Road Improvement Program, or ARIP for short, and the applications for that. Um, they are coming up first part of April for submittal. Realistically, we don't know for sure. There is the caveat of up to 90% funding. Um, working on my professional side, there was also the same kind of thing with clean water fund loans and safe drinking water loans, and they rolled it back to 60% because they had enough projects and not enough funding. So I don't know exactly where that up to 90% is truly going to fall when applications come in. However, we did prioritize a list of roads, number one, that we thought would be advantageous. Um, from a presentation of a grant application, as well as being to a point agricultural related, and it's not just a road in the town that a tractor can go over, but more heavy use or surrounded or contiguous to some uh, agricultural areas. And the list that we <coughs> came up with was, um, again, dependent on what the board wants to do, Thayer Road, Zion Road north of Pine Drive, Island Road, Piper Road, and Marsh Road as essentially the, if we were going to apply, there's the top five roads to apply for. If we want to apply for one, two, all of them, obviously that's kind of the directive of the town board. The Highway Commission would not be the, or Highway Committee, excuse me, would not be the applicant behind that. They may do a lot of the work behind it, um, but that was our list again. Anyways, Thayer. Uh, Zion, North Pine, Island, Piper, and Marsh. Uh, the committee recommended those be the priority list, and I shall so move. I'll second the priority list. Any further discussion? No. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I'm going to say Fair Road's got a good chance because of the six foot call mm -hmm. down there and with the 10 ton weight limit. We stress that to you went to that. Yep. The weight limits have to come off. Right, that, that's fine and dandy. When you, when you have a road that's built like a, almost like a state state road when they're done with it. So I think we have a really good chance of that one, but go for a long time. Next. Uh, last item we somewhat breezed over last night was local culvert and bridge project funding. More or less, uh, the outcome of that was somewhat dependent on what we find, number one, with the red dot big culvert list, what we find with the everything else culvert list after the uh, April, early April road tour. Um, the, the underlying thing behind that, I guess if there was a recommendation, was that uh, 
uh, we looked at Jefferson County or bid those culvert replacements out. Um, if it's on a priority, otherwise to start getting budgetary estimates for 2025's budget. So if there was more discussion than there was an official recommendation recommendation back to the town board on that. Anything else on that city fit? On that issue or in the road related? Well anything we were talking about there. Was there, there a motion on that one? There wasn't. There wasn't. <clears throat> I have one. Um, the resident <clears throat> in Spring Lake pointed out that uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of people that walk the lake for health reasons and walking their dogs and stuff like that. And he, he said that the bridge over H right at the dam um, can be, I don't know if dangerous is the right word, but a concern for the residents walking. And he just wanted to know this is based off of my updating the lake at their at the management district meeting last week that Highway H would be redone at some point this year, at least that's the plan. And he asked, is there any way when they're doing that, um, if they could make that bridge safer, wider, um, expand the shoulder over that? And I said, I'd ask you to look into it. I don't know how much room there is, um, et cetera, et cetera. But if, if that's something that could at least be brought up when they're redoing this, that would be great. Sure. Uh, obviously, no commitments were made to the individual. I said I'd bring it up at our meeting with you and uh, see where it goes. I also asked him to get a hold of um, Blaine Paulson. The county, mm. our county rep, and broach the subject with him as well. So, thanks. Well done. Mm -hmm. Number three: discussion of possible action on tree trimming estimate for diversified drainage that covers work on Carlin Trail and Mill Road. Motion to table the second. Can I ask a question? Have you got any other quotes? Oh, I just got this because it got in the area. Right. right. So we're going to get other quotes. Oh. No well, west. And... Well, we can, yeah. Okay, and I'm in favor of that. I second that. Did you make the motion? I, I, to, I, to simply table it? Correct. While we get other quotes. Is that what you're saying? Is there a second? Second. <laughs> uh, this did come up at our meeting last night. <clears throat> Knowing, at least as of last night, where we stood with our budget, now knowing as of this afternoon where we are with expenditures for trees, I think we need to take a hard and fast stance on not this year, at just, least at this point. Just um, simply stop for now. Because we're, we're running into a shortage quickly. Um, and if there's any outstanding work that Northwest hasn't completed, quite honestly, I, I think it, we owe a phone call to them to tell them to stop. But I don't believe there's any, because I've told him to stop. I said, I want every last bill in, yeah. um, we're done, because we're going to be talking about it. We've got to stop now. That's it. Okay. So okay, the, the other piece of it was, um, obviously, we got one quote from one company in the, in the interest of their quote. Um, I would rather not read it off and have somebody undercome at some point in the future, okay. as far as what the cost was. Yeah. Um, with that being said, the, the quote that we got is, in my mind, significantly less than what the cost for the work that we've gotten uh, so far this year. So I think we owe it to everybody um, to come up with a better approach to this. Uh, the recommendation that came out of the Highway Committee last night was to prioritize Carlin Trail, Mill Road, uh, South Shore Drive, and the west half of Pine Drive. Uh, if we're going to put a scope together to make make it clear, uh, 14 foot, no less, over all roads, five foot off the edge of the shoulder, uh, chip to the ditch where possible, all where necessary, cut up to eight foot lengths, and leave the rest lay for two weeks, let everybody pick through it, come back, haul it off later. That was the recommendation, uh, but in, in the interest of not digging into the quote that we have, and to that point, having somebody undercut them by four dollars just because, and going with the lowest one, that would, be my recommendation at this point is to table it. 
Okay, a motion's been made to table this, and a second's been made uh, to table this for the Highway Committee to continue looking at it, correct? If we're getting more bids or whatever? Um, if, it's, if it's something that the board wants to do, we can definitely do that. Um, I would just rather not act on the one specific quote that was listed on the agenda today. When you say <coughs> act on it, what, how will we act on it if we know it is? Well, no, I'm saying the, yeah, this item said estimate from diversified drainage. Right. It didn't say order, da, 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 da. so I would move to table this estimate for another point in time. Um, Put on the next board meeting to then talk about other other quotes. If, if that's the desire, we can. We absolutely need to get multiple quotes. Well, no, I, correct. I'm saying versus. Stopping for the year. Here, here's one, and I totally agree with the, with the budget and funding and stopping for the end of the year. The only question I have is, is any, is any of this critical to the point if we get a decent storm, maybe like last night's, um, or another decent storm, is some of this, a lot of this going to come down in the storm and we're going to end up paying more for it to clean up than being proactive with it. That's my only concern with this. I agree with your concern, and that's one reason we did uh, uh, Tamarack out here, because it was happening after 4 o'clock and on the weekends and the whole thing, 500, 500, 500. So uh, I understand tabling it. We don't want to get that estimate out, and we can do it for, for a bit. So motions are made to table this. Item, a second's been made to table it, table the discussion. Yeah, nobody answered the question, or I guess I don't know if I have a question. Let me state the call, or a request. Um, and I don't know how far your discussion went on this, but if the road could, committee could advise back if any of this seems like it's imminent or risk of, of a storm, let us know that at the next board meeting. Um, and if nothing seems critical, then I'm in favor of pushing it out as far as we can. But if something's critical, we have to weigh what's the upfront cost versus what's the emergency cost to have it fixed. So if there could just be a recommendation for it at the next board meeting, um, if any of this is, is critical right now, that'd be great. One of, the, one of the items that we talked about, again, from the three people that were here last night discussing it, uh, <coughs> was that to try to incorporate a visual tree survey as we were doing the spring road tour to see, you know, is there is there a tree on Hooper Road that needs to come down and get a quote for a tree on Hooper Road rather than call a roadside clearing, you know, that type of thing. So mm -hmm. um, that was our goal. Um, again, the timeline of it, that's kind of why I just said table it rather than the March meeting because I don't know that we're going to be Hopefully we don't, but we could get another foot and a half of snow banks that we're looking through in the next month. <laughs> oh yeah, I said you know, storm, but yeah. snowstorm as yeah. well, right. Yeah. Um, so is uh, that... I'll add to the motion, a motion to table it till after the road inspection. Before I table it. Road inspection, a tree inspection? At least in the road trees Are in April. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm adding that to the motion. And I, I don't know if we've seconded that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Did anything go down in last night's storm? I don't know if you had anything. Well, it did I don't think we had that. It did on my roof, but not oh. on my roof. Really? I had some lightning and some wind, but it was a steady wind all night. And, you know, it wasn't like, holy oh, grapes, here comes 60 mile an hour. You know. <clears throat> Oh, what's next? Thank you, Josh, for and the work the committee put into that. Yes. And it sounded like it took as long as some of our meetings. Number four, discussion of possible action on the town of Palmyra taking out a loan for road projects. There's 60 kilometers. Should I repeat it? Or? I'm not. I can read. Okay. Uh, I asked about that, put on, obviously, due to the fact 
again, the county's coming down here and at least at minimum looking at Tamrack Road and the uh, Blue Spring Lake Road Y project, we call it. That's why it's on here. That's my main concerns right now. Uh, we have some of the funding, we've got a grant. <coughs> if the 63,000 will have, you know, Hopefully. get quotes, want to get quotes on what it's going to cost. Um, now, having said that, I also uh, thought about shore drive on the trees, getting a quote on that. The other ones, Carlin, Mill Road, you know, they're not big travel roads, but obviously shore drive. That's my reason for putting that on there. For more discussion down the road, when we get some quotes on what you think some of this stuff is going to cost, and to see where we're at with grants and money accumulated. Well, I'm, I'm glad you put it on. I wouldn't limit it to uh, potential for taking out a loan for road projects. I'd say potential for taking out um, a loan to cover any of our expenses that we have coming up since we're running extremely short on the budget, so I would limit it to just road projects. Well, that's probably what it'll be for, though, but I mean, that's that's we have other shortfalls. I don't want it to well, that's true, put but it down on record as it's just for road projects. It's not that we couldn't do those some things, but I'm just saying, more semantics than anything, Frank. Okay, I'll just say to run the township. You know, my main concerns are Tamarack and uh, North Blue, Blue Spring Lake Road and the shore, shore drive as far as the trees go. So as, as far as possible actions, are we going to update the prior quotes from the institutions we've gotten quotes on for different levels of loans and interest rates that come down a little bit? So are, are, is an action from this that we, I should make a motion on us to have those quotes updated from the financial institutions? Well, we've already, or explained what we got in the works with the Colmire, not the Colmire, the Colmire Bank yet. Uh, we've sent them information, what is it? Uh, well, we sent them the 2022 audit information, information on you three guys. I can't, there was a third thing, I can't remember, but what they're waiting on is the 2023 audit and then a final action that you might take in a meeting, like you're deciding that, yeah, you are going to take out a loan for so much money for this project or for this item or whatever. They need to have that as a action by the board before they would um, go with a loan. So we've already taken steps to start the loan process? Well, would they need to do it if we're going to ask for it? So I guess. And by the way, they're the cheapest rate. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But we should ask them to update those rates because since since the since we got that quote, rates have come down slightly. Well, they've gone up at uh, Premier Bank. Actually, theirs did. It went from five seven five to six. Is that right, Laura? Did you see that? Or? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, well, I will we we'll open it up a can of worms. Then, if we do that, I was it's my understanding that the rates have fallen. Well, I, I'll, I'll check. I'll check the same places. What was the, uh, what was that uh, place, uh, Bonnie, you said it? Uh, uh, Commissioner of Public Lands? Yeah, they were like 2.9% higher when I checked on it the last time. And a lot of people talked that up, but when I went to a meeting February 3rd, I did ask other clerks, chairmen, you know, where they're getting their money for roads and uh, Maybe we get it from the uh, First Citizens Bank around the area. I mean, the locals. Yeah, I mean, there's a way to check the rates without opening up the quote for another bid if, if rates have truly stayed stable or, gone, or actually gone up. So I'm not disagreeing with you, but there's ways to check it out without actually opening up the quote for a higher rate. They post what they're not. Well, I can check on that. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it would be worthwhile just. Just because, I mean, we've got we've got lead time that we got to cover to begin with, meet with the county, coordinate with the village, blah blah blah. So I, I think we've got time to move the ball one 
one revolution forward and just see what rates are at so that when, we, when the time comes to make a decision, we, we aren't doing it then and behind the eight ball again. So. I will make calls tomorrow to the uh, same places again and go from there. Really, they're going to tell you right over the phone. I know Joel down there at, at uh, Premier and credit union is way high. They can't even compete. I talked to Kevin Painter, I don't know if you knew him. He used to be in the office of White Water and Runs, the whole thing, all the FCC home department. And uh, he says, Frank, we'd love to help you, but we're, we're way high. So, why credit unions can't get it uh, cheaper than uh, many for, for municipal loans, I, I don't know what the reason is. So, basically, discussion here. So, anything more on that? No. Okay. The class is on so the is there a motion? No, no I have motion. I need to go action. I thought we were going to look at don't we need a motion to take steps to check rates and stuff like that? You can just put it back on the agenda. <coughs> so just add it to the next agenda. Or um, with, with your suggestions added to the general 